In this video, I'm going to show you how I feed my jumping spiders and my praying mantises. Hello, my name is Stuart Wood and welcome to this video. I've had a few emails and comments asking on how I feed my jumping spiders and my praying mantises. So in this video, I'm going to show you that. There's going to be no photography in this video. So first of all, I feed my praying mantises and spiders mostly on flies. Okay, link in the description where you can get some flies from in the UK. If you're outside the UK, just do a Google search and you should be able to find out uh, where you can get some feeders from. Alternatively, you can also just go to a fishing tackle shop, grab some maggots from there, hatch them out and you're good to go. Okay, so some essential things that we need. So first of all, we need some kitchen toweling or some toilet roll. We have a spray bottle with water in and this is a drinking water, not at the tap, so it's got no chemicals in. I bought buy these uh, from the supermarket. I have a freezer bag, some tarantula feeding tongs. These come in very handy. Okay, so let's get started with this. Now I have three sizes of tubs. I've got the small tub, which is what the uh, the smaller praying mantis is in. I have the glass jars that my jump spiders are in, and I have these large sweet tubs that my larger praying mantises are in. Now, the one is getting a bit bigger, so I'm gonna to have to get an even bigger tub for him, but we'll deal with these now, okay? So first of all, I'm gonna start with the jumping spider, okay? Now this one is Fidget. Let's see if he wants to come out for a little walk, shall we? Go on, dude. Here's Fidget. We haven't seen him for a long time on the channel, actually because most of the time he's too active and horny to get any good pictures of, aren't you? Anyway, let's put you back in there. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is to take out any dead food that is in here. So this is what these tarantula feeding tongs are for. I can just reach in, grab the dead insects and plump them out, okay? So without having to disturb his environment, without having to disturb his hammock, I can just reach in, grab what I need, and away I go. So you notice in my enclosures, I have a little bit of paper toweling. The next is misting, okay? So this entails spraying on the side of the cage to put some water drops on there so the spider can drink. Now I have a little piece of kitchen toweling that is inside of my cage. I spray once on the kitchen toweling, and then once up the top. And Fidget will just run around and he'll find those drops and have a good old feed. So the next thing I have to do is feed him a live fly. Now you can put these into the fridge. That will cool them down, it slows their metabolism down and they're less active. But I find it's actually easier to do this. Okay, so I have my freezer bag. Okay, any clear bag will do. I'm gonna loosen the top. Okay, I'm gonna pop him inside the bag. Press down on the opening in the back so they can't get out and then I will just lift the top and because it's a clear bag I can see when one of the flies comes out okay so see that fly just popped out there and now I can coax him up to the edge press down on the bag and he can't go anywhere I'll just reach in there grab the fly throw him in and there we go Job done. That's fidget fed. And he'll be happy chasing that little chap around. And it's exactly the same for the praying mantises, okay? So again, the amount of misting and humidity you need in your cage is completely different from species to species, so you have to do your research to find out. Again, I got a piece of kitchen toweling that's on the side of the cage. I can spray on there and then spray in. Okay? Remove any flies. Better here. So some of these are half eaten, which means that one blue bottle is good enough for this little chap. Okay, again, we're going to grab our fly. See one just popped out there. And they can't fly away with the bag. Pop him in. Do it like that. Okay. And there's various different ways that you can do this. Other people might have different ways of doing it. Here's my orchid mantis. He just hangs out on the top. I can literally just leave him there and he'll be perfectly happy. So for this one, this is where these tongs really come in handy. Because I can come all the way down here. That's 
that out. And now I'm going to spray into his cage. Again, I'm going to let a fly out of its little cage. There's one. You see how easy it is just to catch them when you got them in this bag? And I learned this trick when I was a child. I used to go around with freezer bags catching flies so I could throw them into the spider webs and watch the spider eat the fly. And as always, wash your hands afterwards. So that's it, job done. I've just got to repeat this another seven times to feed my spiders and praying mantis. So there you go, that's how I feed my jumping spiders and praying mantises. So I hope you found that useful. Let me know in the comments if you did find that useful or indeed if you have any questions. I want to thank you for getting to the end of this video. My name is Stuart Wood and I'll see you on the next video. Okay, so some essential things that we need for the feeding. We need a bit of kitchen toweling or paper, what's it called? Toilet roll, that's the one. Ooh. I have these glass jars that my jumping spiders are in. I don't know what I was looking up there for. Go on. Look, I would have you out. I'll get you out later, okay? I can get you out later if you just go back in because I have to. No, I've got to do this video, okay? I'll get you out in a bit, okay? And now I'll just have to repeat this another. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven.